Hello everyone, this is Sarah Faring, Education Assistant with the Hamilton County Soil and Water Conservation District. Um, today we're going to go over how to register for one of our classroom programs. Um, we have tried to make this process as simple and as easy as possible, um, but we still get some questions back on it. Um, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is visit our website, hcswcd.org. Um, and this is our home page. So this is the very first page that you will see. Um, and down here in the middle, in this little accordion style um, tab, um, you're going to go ahead and click on Education. Um, once you click on Education, it's going to take you to the Education page. From the Education page, you can see all the different we offer homeschool programs, library programs, scout programs, um, teacher workshops. We have an education blog. If you're not signed up for this education blog, I highly recommend that you go sign up. Um, there's some information about one of our high school competitions, Caring for Our Watersheds. Um, we also offer a poster and essay contest throughout the year. Um, we also have some grants for educators. Um, so what we are going to do um, is we're going to go up and click on Classroom Presentations. When you click on Classroom Presentations, it's going to take you to the page that has all the information about the programs that we offer. Some of our requirements, um, the fee, which they are all free. Um, they're all free, standards-based, hands-on, and fun. Um, and it tells you a little more information about the programs here. So if we scroll down a little bit, you're going to see all the programs that we offer. If you're looking for a specific grade, um, you can jump to those specific grades, okay? Right there, very simple. Um, if you just want to scroll through all of them, that is completely fine too, whatever floats your boat. Um, so today while we practice registering, we're going to go ahead and book um, for a frog's life cycle. Okay, so I know I want a frog's life cycle, um, so I'm going to go ahead and book. Um, if you scroll up a little bit and to the left, um, you can either decide to book with myself or book with Gwen. Um, today we're going to go ahead and book with myself. Um, when you click book, it's going to open you up to a new screen. Okay, the first pop-up, um, it's going to ask your time zone. You want to make sure you leave everything here the same. So we're just going to click Next. And then it's going to ask you for the meeting duration. This is where things can get a little bit tricky. Um, most of our programs range between 30 and 45 minutes. Um, we're going to say you just want us for one 30-minute program. Okay. Then our meeting duration is going to be 30 minutes. Okay. If you want us for two programs back-to-back, um, then we're just going to click on 60 minutes. Um, but let's say you need us for those two 30-minute programs, but we have to fit lunch in there. Um, so instead of scheduling two completely separate different programs, um, we're just going to pick a duration of 90 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes for a program, 30 minutes for lunch, and then 30 minutes for our second program. Once you click Next, it's going to search in my calendar for any day that I have available for a 90-minute time frame. Okay, so as you see, I have a few dates in August, let's see, September, October, um, and some in November as well. So we are going to go ahead and book for November 29th. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on November 29th, and then it's going to ask you the start time. So these are all the times that I am available to start and then have 90 minutes. So we are going to go ahead and pick um, 11 o'clock. Okay. Now, it only has you pick an available start time. You don't pick your end time because the, the program automatically knows you need me for 90 minutes. So it's going to go ahead and generate that 90 minute program. Okay. Um, so we can click next. And then it's going to bring you to a page, oh, try again, um, and then it's going to bring you to a page where it's going to collect some information from you. Um, so 
one's going to ask for your name, your email, um, a phone number. Um, whatever phone number it's most convenient to contact you, whether this is your classroom phone, the school number, your cell phone, whichever is the easiest. But please, um, phone numbers are very helpful. So we have our phone number. Um, program title. And we said we were going to do for a frog's life cycle. So we'll go ahead and click that. If by chance you forget what program that you wanted to register for, um, you can click right here. And it will send you direct you back to our website so you can look at those again. Now, I'm going to say the most important part of this entire page right here um, is information about the detailed schedule. Um, this is where you want to kind of provide us with as much detail as possible. This eliminates having to email back and forth a million times before the program. Um, so, for example, remember we said we had a class and then lunch and a class. So we're going to say class number one is from 11 to 11.30. And then we have lunch in there. And then we have our class two. Alright, this way we know we have the exact times we need to start and the exact times we need to be finished by. Um, if there's any other information, um, please give us that. You can never give us too much information. Okay, the school organization. Um, put your school name in here. Right, and the school's address. Um, this is very important as well. Please give us your school address and not your home address. If by chance we get turned around on the way to um, your program, we can throw this address on our GPS and make it to the school and not to your house. Okay. And then the grade. Just kind of go ahead and specify which grade again. Because um, all we're going to see when you do this program title is the grade range. It's not going to tell us what grade that you actually teach. Now, only two more things to do, and then you're done registering. Um, photo release. Um, this box you have to click. Um, so this is just saying by registering for a program, you and your students agree to be filmed, videotaped, or photographed by Hamilton County staff. Now, you have to click this, but that doesn't mean we have to take pictures. Um, if maybe a few students in your classroom don't have photo waivers, or you have a no photo policy in your classroom, that is completely fine. Just make sure you let us know. Maybe put that back up in the detailed schedule or send us a separate email. Um, the next thing is for teacher involvement. All leaders or teachers are required to remain in the classrooms with staff at all times. Um, this is in case an emergency were to arise. Maybe one of your students gets ill or gets hurt or there's a fire drill. Um, we don't know all your classroom's rules, so it's just best if you stay in that classroom with us. Um, now that you're done, you can go ahead and click Done. And it's going to tell you um, here in a few minutes that your program is booked. Now, you are going to get an email in your inbox saying that you have booked a program. And I am going to get an email as well. I am going to briefly look over that email. If I have any questions, I'll shoot you an email. Um, if you don't hear from me, that's great. That means I don't have any questions. There's no conflicts, and we're good to go. If I do see a conflict, like I said, I'll shoot you an email, and we'll get that taken care of. Um, about one to three, uh, about three days before the program, um, you'll get another email. Um, and it'll just be a program reminder. So reminding you that I'm coming out on November 29th um, to bring a Frog's Life Cycle program. If at that point you have any issues or questions or any time before then, uh, maybe you need to change the time or the date or the program itself, feel free to shoot us an email, give us a call, and we can hopefully make those changes pretty easily for you. Um, but if you have any questions at all about any of the programs that we offer, please give us a call. Our phone number is 513-772-7645. I hope this video has made our registration process a little easier for you. Um, and happy registering. Bye.